Welcome to the Fisher Family Farm. On this video, I'm gonna give you an entire overview of the entire property of the Nativity, the Christmas walkthrough, and all of the farm festivals. When you are driving down our property line, you guys, this is incredible. We started off with all of our trees completely lit in white. There's over a hundred strands in each one of those trees. It looks absolutely beautiful. We've got the now open garden center sign right here. And as you come in, you're gonna get slightly blinded by a very big parking lot light, which allows you to see into the event parking sign. Now in here to the left, we have a nice sized parking lot that fit about 150 cars over here. And then as we turn in here to, we call this the snow globe. This is where you come in, you pay for the event, you get to start to see all kinds of fun pots and different types of things that we offer now on a typical night when it's not super windy we have the bubble machine going right here we've got foggers going over here and it's just super epic and we have all these fun big decorations up and this literally just looks so wonderful we've got santa and mrs claus that come out and hang out right here a couple nights during the event and then you'll meet katie right here and sometimes you'll see our kids running around being a little chaotic uh, throughout here. Now, as we come out, you are going to go through the hay maze and meet the first little minion. There's a couple of those guys throughout the event. They're always fun. So you can take your kids through this, buzz around. You're gonna see Pogo always around with a stick during this event. He literally goes and goes and goes the entire time. Off to the left, we've got a couple little broadcasting lights that lets you see to the epic slider ram zamza this thing is absolutely cool we've got all different sizes of the slides big giant ones for the adults long little skinny ones we've got the christmas star up to the top we've got the light show over here and then once i get up to the top here you'll be able to see there is the nativity over here it is super awesome check these slides out you guys these things are huge and there's actually quite a bit of light from the star up top it is pretty incredible now up here you can really get an idea of the entire event we've got the snack shack over there the light show over here one day all of these trees will be lit not yet one year at a time now if you come early enough you can come and play on the pump track right here you just got to be a little bit careful for that post we also have the bounce house. Now it's not blown up right now because it was really windy just a little bit ago. We allow that to be up and come as much as you like. And then off to the right, the horses are gone for the evening, but you can come out and do some horse rides. And here, now this is Bethlehem. Now this is built very uh, meticulously on looking just like Bethlehem. Now we have... The petting zoo right here where you can enter in over there at the gate we've got some sheep we've got some goats oh looks like they're being friends all cuddling by each other getting warm we've got some heating pads for the rabbits over there i think that's why those guys are over there getting warm from that now as we enter into bethlehem you can see we've got these signs right up here at the front bethlehem in hebrew pretty awesome now this is all about jesus's life so when Joseph and Mary went into Bethlehem, the three inns that they went to, they said, hey, you know, we'd love to stay here. And they said, hey, sorry, we don't have room for, you know, a mom who's having a baby. And so your kids can come in and they can play. You guys can see, oh, it's just so beautiful and fun. They can play with some of these little utensils and really get an idea of what, what it's like. In here, there's no room in the inns. And so we've got the first one. We've got the second one with some other fun stuff. We built this as a very highly sensory experience for the kiddos and quite frankly, for the entire family. So everyone can experience what it's like to be around uh, these old modern homes. We've got some fun pots in here. And they can play for a little bit. Now, the as the story goes, there was no room in the ends, but they said, hey, We've got a stable down the way. You know, you can put your donkey right here. This is Sweetie, our donkey. Hi, Sweetie. Yeah, you wanna come say hi for a minute? Come here. 
Sometimes she'll come up and sometimes she says no. Right now she's saying no. She doesn't want to. So that said, so here is the area where the donkey and the shepherds can come put their animals. And then we've got, this is the stable where Joseph and Mary, oh, and you can hear. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her first son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. As you can see, we've got the audio playing, which is so wonderful. And then after Jesus was born, as he was growing, the star came out and it makes it to where the three wise men are going to be traveling on their camels. You can see the camels here, here, and here. And this are, looks like we got paused. This video right here is where the three wise men are making it to Jesus's house, which right here, we've got Jesus's house. And this is where the three wise men come. And then as we come in, got a little front area. And then inside of Jesus's house, we've got the crowns, the presents. We've got the gold. We've got myrrh. And we've got frankincense to where you can even literally open this up and you can put it on your kids, you can put it on your hand, you can smell it. And then what we've got here is we have everybody write on their names and where they're from. And then we post them on the walls so we can create our own genealogy of seeing where people come. See, Liam's from Hurricane. Super fun. Oh, we've got Victoria from St. George. So we make this uh, an exciting experience and Pogo is with us the entire time. Now, after Jesus was born, or after the three wise men came and meet Jesus here, typically the story's over. But we decided to do Jesus' entire life now. So let's go over to the life side. So this is where Jesus did many, many miracles. So we have all these different videos playing of Jesus doing wonderful miracles. Now this is the miracle wall of Jesus Christ, of all the different things that he did. And this here is the names, many, many names that Jesus Christ was known as. The light of the world, high priest, deliverer, cornerstone, Jehovah, counselor. <laughs> it's pretty incredible wall of remembrance. Oh, and you can see I think Jesus is about to uh, calm these waters over here. It is incredible what he's done. Now this is where it gets a bit more sacred. This is the Garden of Gethsemane. As we come in here, it's very sacred. And we have the, the stone that he was on and the tree stone and we even have his robe. And I had one I had one person explain this to me that the blood came back into the trees and helped grow everything and helped life expand and become even better. And as we go from Gethsemane, we come to the crosses. And here is where the Savior was crucified. And as you can hear, a storm was happening. Now, one of the cool parts about this is you can come and see the crown of thorns. This is actually from Bethlehem. My mom was in Jerusalem when we were filming this, or when we were building this. My mom was there, and she grabbed these for us. And a spike, what would have went in his hands and in his feet. There's so much pain we can't even imagine. During the event, when it's not windy, we have a fogger out here. It just gives it a much more a sacred feel. And so this is, uh, uh, it's a very emotional, sentimental uh, opportunity to do something like this. And then as we go from where he uh, died and he was put inside of the tomb, 
And as we know, he is risen. And so what we do is we allow the kids to come up and they get a op they get to come here and they get to roll the t roll the rock back. And they get to see that the savior has risen. He's not in here. And you can see here he is risen. And then as we come to the next wall here, now this is our art wall, and we we know that there's not enough love going around in the world right now. So our goal is to spread the love. So this is from anyone who's come here, we ask that you write something, you know, uh, let's just read them. You are enough. You are loved and important. Be kind for throughout him all things are possible. Just Just wonderful things. And I even wrote something on here too. I just don't know where I wrote it. So I love that it's getting so full that we might even have to put some more up there. So what a wonderful experience uh, for there. And then we ask everybody, you know, when you're done, if you felt the love here, you know, jump online and, and share some love and uh, let us know how you feel. So as you come back out, we get to see the the sheep again and the goats and we want this to really feel like you're in that different world. Now, on, on nights of the event, when there's still horses here, we've got horse rides going, and there's kids playing, all kinds of fun stuff going on. And as we walk down this trail, you can start to see all the Christmas lights, which gets most people really, really excited. Like... All right, Pogo, what do you think, huh? What do you think? We think, Pogo, huh? So, first tree, we've got Snack Shack here. As we walk through, this is called our avatar tree. Oh, this is one of the coolest trees of the entire event. And then we come through the archway. So we made this to where the, the tree roots of the tree roots came up and over and made this beautiful spectacle of lights coming down. So as we come in, you get to start with all of these guys. And we've got all of those lit it's just it is truly incredible i'm gonna try to go slow here so you guys can see we've got laser lights playing and one day we'll have all those lit up back there it'll be pretty cool now we've got a whole bunch of even real trees out here. So these guys are real Christmas trees. Real Christmas trees. We built all of these custom. This was super fun. Just these Christmas trees took one person over three weeks to build these guys. There's over 50 of them. We've got some, some presents throughout. We've got some blow ups throughout. And then during the event, we've got the tractor train buzzing up and down right here. All these red and white ones are my favorite. This was an accidental to get these. They actually turned out to be my favorite candy cane, candy cane lane. That's what we'll call this place, it's Candy Cane Lane. So you guys can kind of see the, the back view of it. And then what it looks like to look down all these trees. These trees are pretty incredible. They're lit from bottom to top. And as we walk up, oh, these guys got taken down. This is typically all lit all the way over to there where you can see inside the greenhouses, but since those aren't lit, we won't go over there tonight. Uh, we've got, that's where the garden center greenhouse is. And we typically have Christmas lights all the way down here that send you back over to this side. And then I'll show you, we'll keep coming over here. And then we've got ring toss right here. And we've got 
cornhole. And then we have all these fire pits right here that you guys can rent out or depending on the night, we've got several of them just going. I think we actually have just a little bit more coals. Oh, yep, this guy's still cooking. Yep, a little bit of fire left in there. We got a whole bunch of firewood over here. So we're ready to go for you guys to have massive fun, tons of events. And we'll let you, sh I'll show you up here what we've got, all kinds of fun stuff. This is the snack shack over here. And depending on what night it is, is depending on what we've got going here. I took these down because we didn't have all of these. Normally we've got hot dog meals, we've got chili cheese dog walking tacos, hot chocolate, milk chocolate, apple cider, all kinds of amazing stuff. You guys, it is so much fun here. It is incredible. You get to grab your food, you get to come out and eat. We've got snow machines that are blowing off the top of this. Your kids come out, you get to ride on the tractor train. Just literally, it is incredible. We'd love to see you guys here. If you're making a special trip to come down to see us, let us know, come say hi, tell us you saw us on YouTube and we'll, we'll love you even more. So that said, you guys, we'll see you on the next video.